Let me come in here just a second. Let me find. Show me my other settings. Well, I think I have to start this and then go to Facebook. And uh, so let's see. Okay, let me stop. Go live. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know we also have little um, hairy children here on the call too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think Brad just went out. Here's a 404. Um, and that might be somebody. Uh, and welcome 404 788. And let me see if, let me just send this other individual. Well, I'll, I'll wait on this. And uh, I want to just do a screenshot here. Um, well, I don't think I'll be able to do that, but I want to be sure that we do some praying as well for Israel. But, um, you know, I really appreciate you all coming. Uh, I didn't want to have a meeting before uh, Christmas was over because people's focus is not on anything else but holidays, Hanukkah, and Christmas. And so that's why, and I always like to have really six months of meetings before trips. So, um, Leanne, would you open us in prayer? Okay. Oh, Father God. It's so exciting to be to have this to look forward to after this year. Um, it, we all miss Israel. Mm. We miss it dearly and we miss the people. I ask you to go forth and prepare the way so that we can do what you want us to do uh, in Israel. And um, prepare the hearts over there uh, for them to receive Yeshua and um, prepare our hearts to be able to minister. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. Over the past, oh, and I think the 404 call went away, but over the past months, and I know that some of you have been on the call, uh, we've had uh, the women from Hefa, the um, Hefa, the uh, Abundant Life, uh, the ministry in Tel Aviv. We've had Sandy Shoshani. We've had Audrey Gross. We've had different people because we've wanted to bring Israel to us. And in the meantime, people have still uh, brought us support. People have sent us financial support. Lynn and Francis, who's getting on the call, um, they have made things and we've sent them to Israel. I think we've maybe, uh, Elizabeth has made things. I think we've sent approximately 30 boxes, which is a nice amount of items to Israel and it's been scattered. Um, and what's neat too is tomorrow, uh, Jeff had a young man as a student and this man makes these, uh, they look like little yellow slicker boots. And uh, he, it, they're called Roma boots. And so I've kind of been asking them, you know, if I pay for this, if I pay for that, can, can we um, send about 50 to Israel? So he's gonna donate the boots. I'm gonna pay for the, Israel's gonna pay for the um, import fees. So uh, they're just really cute boots. And so, um, but they're rain, you know, rain boots, slicker boots. There's Brad. Brad, you must be on guard. There's uh, <laughs> America's finest there that I don't know if he's working as a police officer right now. But um, so we've been able to still connect with Israel, even though we haven't been there. And I think that is the key that we haven't lost our focus we uh, all have interest. Everybody so far who was going to go with us a year ago in April 
2020, uh, pushed it to October and is now pushing it to 2021. So we still have 15 rooms uh, secured. That's 15 double rooms secured. And we still wait on the Lord. So um, I'm going to email uh, Belinda because she's not on here and I don't know where she is. And she was very, um, we are on the call. Let me just put this in here. Um, so, and you all have followed what has been going on with Israel just as much as I, that for the most part, the borders have been safe. The enemy, the Palestinian Authority, has been much diminished, thank God, because of uh, the other agreements with uh, Sudan, Bahrain, UAE, and Morocco. Uh, so we are <clears throat> in exciting times, and we've had pent-up desire. And uh, it's it's been a hard year. I, I To me, in some ways, I think you all agree, it's been the way of the cross. It's been quite different, uh, quite difficult. Some people have had to work more. Other people have taken a cut, like uh, Kent was sick. Um, all of us couldn't go to Israel, which is really where our heart ministry is. So, um, you know, nothing has changed regarding where we're going. I wanted to let you know that the place that we were staying in at Tel Aviv, Dugit has been sold but we still have our rooms there. So, oh. yeah, yeah. So uh, I, had, you know, thank God everything is still the same. The people with SRL, they want, um, you know, they want traffic, the guides, uh, some of the guides, you know, I'll, I'll say, you know, we need <coughs> you. And um, so we're still in a holding pattern, but I have a couple other things, but I thought I'd just pause here right now and ask if there are any questions. I mean, at this point, I'm going to continue on. The, 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 not Dugit was sold, but um, Dom Connie's uh, hotel was sold? Uh, I'm sorry. That's Dugit. Yeah. Oh, that's Dugit. Gilgal. Gilgal. Okay. Gilgal. Yes. It was sold? Yes, yes. Oh, it was sold. Yeah. And so, um, oh, for a thing, yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, Gal was sold, but it is <clears throat> the same. And I don't know if that has to do with, um, uh, with, um, uh, Yaakov being sick, yeah. and his wife maybe can't manage it. I don't know at this point, but. Um, so I'm really not sure what is going on. So that's too um, bad. Yeah, it really is. <clears throat> so, you know, um, we just kind of say, okay, Lord, what is your will in this? And, but everything else, I'm just, uh, forwarding something to me so I can access it and not have it on the platform here. But, um, I don't know if, uh, any of you get on Facebook the updates from SARL travel, but you might consider uh, mm -hmm. going to SARL, S A R space E L, and then uh, having them uh, put you in the loop because they <coughs> update uh, Joel Rosenberg. Francis has been sending me Joel Rosenberg's updates, but uh, those also are good about. Um, keeping us posted about what's going on in Israel, what's going on with travel. Um, I get the updates from STEP. It's called the step updates um, from the U.S. Embassy. And so that is how, and of course, Israel is on lockdown, I think, until January the 14th. So uh, for most of us, it looks as though we're in an area where we're, we have some latitude, we have some freedom regarding where we eat, where we go, but we don't want to go to Israel until it's open. So, so okay, I'm going to pause here, see if anybody has any questions, because my hot topic is coming up. <laughs> I only got my computer working. <laughs> Yay. 
Well, we appreciated that picture of you in the police garb. That was very cool. <laughs> that was very cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is, um, oh, and here's a WhatsApp notification from Mary Beth. <clears throat> um, what, what I'm wondering, and I'm putting this out there to you because Cheryl's in healthcare. Um, some of us are older. Kent was sick this year. Um, as it looks, Netanyahu got the Pfizer vaccine. And now Israel, I believe, wants to be the first country that has 100% vaccinated people. And I am just presenting this to you. I have no facts yet, but I am wondering if a vaccination <clears throat> will be required as we enter Israel. Again, I don't know. That is the main reason why I have no hesitation to be vaccinated because I get every vaccination, whether it's shingles, pneumonia, the flu, yellow fever when I went to India, hepatitis, etc. So I want to stop here and, and let you, I think that discussion on this will be good. And I wanted to bring it up uh, just to see what you all thought and to plant the seed just in case this becomes a requirement. Barry, is this the same vaccination that is being given to U.S. citizens? Yes, the two uh, in America are Pfizer and also Moderna. Moderna. Um, so, but Nathan <clears throat> got Pfizer and... Um, so they are the same. And I've already consulted with my doctor who has encouraged me to get it. And again, I don't have underlying needs that some people do and some people are concerned. And if some people are concerned, I think that's fine because they're also talking about herd immunity. And so back in 1918, when the Spanish flu hit, and that was disastrous. That was a terror. But there were three or four things. They social distanced, and you'll see pictures of the ladies and men. They have church out on the street. Uh, there's pictures of individuals with masks on, so they social distanced. They had masks on. They had cleanliness, you know, washing hands, and a vaccine. But the great influenza, the book talked about the development of it, of the vaccine, but those four benchmarks, um, along with sequestering the service people, because it was the service people who were traveling, going to different ports and then coming in that brought it as well. And, and America didn't know how bad an issue that was until so many people got infected. So I, I just really am here because I know many people are against the vaccine. And yet I just wonder if Israel will require it at a port of entry. Yes, Ken. I, uh, <clears throat> I got a, an email from the OEFA Health um, COVID vaccine information uh, they sent this out there, and it says, Olathe, Olathe, by the way, that's my hometown, for those of you who don't know, uh, says they've been working collectively to prepare for the arrival, blah, 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 blah. And so uh, they say, in addition, Olathe Health Team has been closely following the vaccine safety data. We understand there can be apprehension regarding vaccine safety. So these are the <laughs> FDA CDC highlights. Uh, the vaccine has been rigorously tested for safety before being authorized for use in the U.S. The technology used for this vaccine has been studied for more than a decade. The vaccine does not contain a live virus and does not carry a risk of causing disease in the vaccinated person. And it also says the vaccine components never enter the cell nucleus and do not affect or interact with a person's DNA. So this was, the information was sent to me. I really personally, I'm tired of the needle. You know, <laughs> I, I've had so many shots, et cetera. <laughs> and every time I got a flu shot, I always got sick, not from it, but just the fact that, you know, they were always, uh, <laughs> they're always shooting me for the wrong 
strain and you know three days later i get the flu so um so and i've had COVID already so i don't really feel like it's any big deal you know yeah. but i i mean i don't want the vaccine i don't feel like it's necessary but again you know i don't know but that that's what i was given that's the information right. and you might have antibodies until jesus returns yeah <laughs> well let's hope i do yeah in fact they can probably make a nice health serum out of my blood <laughs> yes yes cheryl you went yes in the medical field is there anything yes. that could contribute we at our hospital um they're offering it right now it's not mandatory um i haven't decided yet if i'm going to get it because of so many things that i have heard and keep hearing, I hear, you know, things on both sides. So I haven't decided yet. However, if the hospital where I work makes it mandatory or it's mandatory to go to Israel, I probably will end up getting it. I'll certainly have to think very hard about that. Yeah. I don't want to miss going to Israel because I don't get a vaccine. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Yeah. Right. And I would feel safe there. And the last oh. thing I want to do is get sick. But I also know, you know, I, and I heard the information, Kent, that you shared about, because I had people have shared that about the mRNA and they've shared about um, fetus cells and all this other stuff. And yet um, I know that the flu shot and and the flu shot, you know, the strains change. You know, Jeff could not go to England last week oh. because there is a new strain. Right, right. When you talk about a flu or a virus, this is not unusual. And you would know better than I, Cheryl, that this they change, they mutate, they change. Yeah. So that's why we have a different flu shot every yeah. year. Yeah. And Delta might end up making it mandatory also. You know, some of the airlines, you know, may make it a requirement before you can fly too. Yeah. Right now, have you heard anything about that? None whatsoever. Um, uh, we've flown, we've flown to Atlanta twice uh, and it was great to see Lynn and Francis. And um, we've flown on planes. We went to a movie yesterday and gone to a couple movies and no one's in there hardly you know um so and jeff has flown international and hardly anybody's on the plane so um i i think it'll be interesting you know we have very many variables we hope that president trump will be in power um <coughs> no and what will you know the requirements of our government i don't believe that um, his, you know, government would require it. I don't know about the other. So there are so many things up in the air right now, but I just wanted to plant that seed that, um, I, I, I mean, David Katz, who's like uh, one of the big wigs with RL, he and his wife both got the shots maybe today in Israel, earlier today. And uh, so, and if you want to follow him, David Katz, because what I've done is anytime I've seen somebody that I know who's gotten the shot, I've emailed them. And on Christmas, we spent uh, Christmas with a, a dear family up in Denton and their son is an ICU nurse who he was one of the first people that I saw on Facebook who got the shot. And um he and his brothers are all either nurses or nurse practitioners. They've all gotten a shot. They're in their 30s um, and they're waiting for the second dose, but they're fine. No, no problem whatsoever. Um, but uh, it was Zach who shared with us the experiences of what he's, he's seen in the ICU. He works at ICU COVID. So, um, but where they used to have to wear the painter suits, you know, the Tyvek mm -hmm. suits from the top to the bottom, they don't anymore. So, um, so anyway, it's just, it's a personal choice. I'm not saying anything to anybody about go out and do whatever. I just really want to bring this <clears throat> to you as a, as a place to pray. If not well, well, and you know, I think 
these days uh discernment i think is the big thing we need to pray for because mm -hmm. you have two sides and we don't know where they're getting their information from and we know mm -hmm. where information might come from and so on and uh you know especially at or Alam, you know we've got a few people who are you know kind of out there and so i'm going well we need to pray for wisdom we need to pray for discernment and that's how i see it yeah and not everyone gets the flu shot and I, I don't yeah because they keep having so much bad luck with it yes yes so you know so far um things seem you know stable regarding looking forward um and we keep pushing it back. Now, I will tell you this, that Jeff was scheduled to go to Israel in March. And he always goes when the Zola Levitt groups go. And that's been canceled. Mm -hmm. So, um, until you know, till October. And they continue to, you know. Push it forward or move it up the calendar. Yeah, advance the uh, schedule. So, again, I don't know. We continue to pray that God will break the heavens and bring forth a cure and yet you know this has affected the whole world and this is a new situation for all of us so anyone else want to share i know i had called elizabeth a couple minutes for another prayer call i just had a question for cheryl also um during you know november december january it's really the biggest flu months and mm -hmm. i haven't heard much about mm -hmm. flu have you ha do you have we, anything on that um the test that we run in my lab is a, a called a fourplex and we test for covid flu a flu b and rsv which is respiratory syncytial virus we have not had one positive flu yet haven't seen how, any flu. yeah how, how can they justify that i mean if it's the flu season and because of all the things people are doing for COVID is also keeping flu numbers down. Yeah. Wearing masks, the distancing, washing hands, staying at home, not going in big groups. That also keeps flu down or and or the fact that it just hasn't made it to the United States yet. I haven't heard numbers in other countries, but it tends to start, you know, way out east, you know, in the <clears throat> nations and move it's kind of move it around move around the globe and you just don't know for sure what time or what time of the year if it's going to make it to the united states but so far there's been hardly any flu we haven't had one positive flu in my lab and i haven't heard wow. of hardly any in the state of missouri wow wow that's kind of amazing don't you think yeah yeah it is but we'll see what happens in a month or so. But again, it's like, you know, what people are doing for the COVID also keeps flu down. So it yeah. does make sense. So that, do you think that if people start moving around more and going out to the movies, to the stores, that that will bring in the flu season also? That it could if people yeah, are sure. wearing their mask and washing their hands and all that stuff. Does everybody mask does everybody here wear masks you do barry i do when i go oh, yeah. out and i have to at work yeah. but you wear a mask i'm required to yes yeah, I, I don't even wear a mask i, I never even the only time i wear a mask, <laughs> well, I wear a mask I, is when i go into dollar store because you have to and yeah. i wear my trump mask that's the only <laughs> time I <wear> a mask. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> All I can tell you is that I didn't have a mask on when I was in the hospital, and I got the best service ever because since you're in an isolation ward, you get your own personal mask. Yeah, it was pretty nice. So, okay. that's, oh, that's great. Awesome. That's, great. <laughs> that's great. Again, you know, who knows what the new normal will be, and uh, we none of us have walked this journey before, uh, and we're just really trusting the Lord to see um, his, what he's going to do. I mean, we, I would love to see it just totally be eliminated and we could go back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Barry. Yeah. Yes. Friend. So do you know if um, travel guard 
uh, pays anything regarding the virus? Have you checked on that? Um, all I know is that if you have travel insurance and you have to postpone it till later date, you can do that, but you have to do it before you go on your trip. And Jeff was going to go to England. And what he did is he negotiated with them for a yearly rate. Because he's going to great. England, I think, four times or wow. in England. Mm. Well, they pay it for Israel, but mm. for England. So I thought that's kind of interesting. So they yeah. don't charge you anything, uh, but you have to be timely with it. Again, last March when I canceled, I didn't think about contacting them because all this was just so new that by the time I called them, I think it was, excuse me, late April. So I lost that money, but then the May got advanced to, um, I think, October. So anyway, you just have to stay on it just like the airlines and the airlines are not charging any um change fees so mm -hmm. yeah. again you know I yes Elizabeth. well i'm, I'm oh, yeah. going to um to get my travel insurance until i know it's like a hundred percent because i lost over a hundred dollars because um i did not go on one of the trips uh and i know travel guard is just not very uh, lenient and forgiving. And um, so I will not make my, uh, or actually book it with Travel Guard until I know. But I've just wondered, I thought maybe you might have had some experience with um, knowing whether or not they do pay if you get the virus while you're on a trip. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do because they cover, they cover all that. Okay. Okay. Full evacuation, all that. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have another. I have another dumb question, but I was just wondering what people think because there's a lot of speculation out there about this could be, you know, the mark of the beast if you have to take, you know, the um, the the shot. What What are your thoughts on that? Anybody? No. <laughs> Well, it depends I, on if that uh, it depends on if that chip is in the in the um, by in the flu shot. We got to find that out because that's the chip, the little nano chip. Right. How do we find that out, Lynn? I don't know, but I'll I'll work on it. But I think we all need to work on it. Um, yeah, exactly. And the the man who developed that chip was the Harvard professor that got arrested for. Um, by Lawrence working with China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last fall. Yeah. He he's the one that developed the nano chip. So um, and I will say that AstraZeneca does use fetal tissue in their um okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, vaccine. 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 whatever, you know. Um but that's it. And I've got to go. Um, okay. God bless y'all, and, and um, we're we're just we'll we'll close in prayer in a few minutes. The Lord bless you and say hi to your family. I will. Thank you. Love y'all. Oh, you. Wonderful. Thank you. Bless you. You're wonderful. Um, we're we're gonna pray for a little bit because Israel is you know the pandemic, um, COVID. Uh, also, the political situation is heating up. Yeah. They are. have an election coming up, right? Yes, yeah. So it's uh, crazy there too. But so maybe God is keeping <clears throat> us away from there for a while. But you know, when we get back there, people are going to be very happy to see us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the most oh, important yeah. thing of all. And uh, um, you know, we just have to, I'm, I'm just thankful. I'm going to have another call in a month because I just think it's really good to keep in touch and, and to pray, uh, as, as we just navigate these waters. Cause we just don't know, um, really what's going on. And, uh, my best always suggestion is just to look, you know, keep in touch with people on Facebook. No one's going, it's locked down. So we wouldn't want to be there anyway. Um, 
And if you get off the plane, you go straight to quarantine. Um, You're not allowing anybody else in the country. So only Israeli uh, residents. So if you're coming from out of the country, um, you are, you know, you've got to, um, uh, there's Marion, uh, you've got to quarantine. So we don't want to do that. What a waste of time. I mean, the Jeff, when he goes to England and quarantine, he studies. He studies for two weeks straight, doesn't really talk to anybody. And we don't, that's not our purpose. So um, doesn't sound fun. No, no. So uh, Marion, I know, I think you just got on. And uh, no, I think she, yeah, she's on there. Uh, Marion, the big topic of discussion has been the possibility that when we enter the country in Israel, that we might have to show that we've been vaccinated. Uh, there's no proof, there's nothing said, but apparently <clears throat> Israel does want to be a hundred percent vaccinated. So I'm just putting <clears throat> it out there because that could be a game changer for some people who might not want to go or mm -hmm. might want to wait another year. I don't want to wait another year. So that was really why I wanted to get together on this call to just kind of put it out there and see I'm willing to go I don't I don't care I mean but again I've gone to India and had all those other funky shots mm -hmm. you know, yellow fever yeah. I mean I you know malaria um and hepatitis I had all the hepatitis shots so um uh, so I don't really care I'm I'm I figure if Netanyahu got the Pfizer shot, and he did, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Um, but I know some people are a little bit hesitant about that. I'm not. I'm not. And I actually also talking to healthcare workers, people that have had the shots um, um, with no problems. You know, so I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Didn't know. I, I do want to um, um, Francis, if no one has any questions, Francis, will you read Isaiah chapter 62 verses one and also verse six? Because I want to do a little bit of praying. Francis, you look so nice. It's so wonderful to see you. Well, I can't so, see your face, Francis. I haven't I'm seen you in years. <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah. on, tilt that camera down. Let's see how yeah, yeah. it was a mess with yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see her either. Do you have you, Francis? Okay, uh, Isaiah 62. What was the scripture? Uh, verse 1 and then also verse 6. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. <laughs> and for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a lamp that burns. In verse six, I have set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem, who shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him, give him our father, give him no rest, Till he establishes, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Amen. Amen. That is really um, the purpose, you know, that we're here in the ministry. Um, also, that we meet week after week and pray for our president uh, who has stood in the gap uh, in our lifetimes better than anybody else for Israel. Yeah. And so, uh, we're united in our hearts about that. And there's part of me that believes that the reason why the president has gotten so much uh, persecution is because of his stand regarding Israel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the mind of the Lord, but as, as the word says that we're watchmen on the wall, not only for our country, but for Israel and Jerusalem's sake. And so um, if, you know, if somebody wants to open in prayer, I'll close in prayer. But I just want to encourage you, and I'm so glad you got on the call today, just to say hi and and let me know that y'all are doing well and are healthy. You know, I'm grateful. 
and I'll send you out this call. And if there's any other updates, uh, I'm going to send out uh, a ministry update by the end of the year uh, and just let people know uh, that uh, the ministry is still thriving and has connected with Israel. I mean, in a big way, <coughs> in a sense. Um, oh, this is Ruth Hatton. She's from Texas. And um, I think, Kent, you remember Ruth. And uh, Cheryl, I know you remember Ruth. Wasn't that your roommate, Cheryl? Was Ruth Hatton your roommate? Okay. No, that was Louise. Okay, Louise. Okay. And, uh, but um, again, this is all for a purpose. Um, God has, uh, you know, his ways are higher than ours and we can trust him. And so again, people have continued to support uh, the work that we do, the people that we connect with. Um, and so uh, this will, these are still exciting times and we're the watchmen and the watchwomen and we're the prayers. So um, uh, does anyone want to, I'll be the last one to pray. How's that? Okay. And okay. So let's pray. If someone wants to start. I'll start. Father, your word says in Isaiah, you are our wonderful counselor, almighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. And Father, we declare today, you are our prince of peace in this United States of America. Father, I pray across north, south, east, west, Father, that your Holy Spirit would sweep across this nation, Lord. And Father, bring peace, Lord. Peace, Lord, is only you can do. Peace, peace is only you can rule and reign in this country, Lord. Oh, God, peace in our hearts, our minds, our emotions, <clears throat> our body, Lord. Peace, Lord, knowing, Father, that you rule and reign. And Father, as your word says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who call by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their iniquities and I will heal their land. And I pray, Lord, that you heal this land. And Father, heal, Lord, the state of Israel. Lord, north, south, east, west, Lord, eradicate that virus, Lord. Father, take it away, Lord, from Israel and from this country, Lord. Oh, God, we know how settled it, it came, sweeping across. But, Father, your hand is our all-sufficient one. And I pray, Lord, eradicate this country, eradicate Israel from this evil, evil coronavirus, Lord. Mm -hmm. And Father, Lord, I pray as we make plans, Lord, Lord, to visit, Lord, and to minister and to work, Lord, into the wonderful, wonderful land of Israel, Lord. Father, you, Lord, be the Lord. Lord, you be our wisdom. You be our knowledge, Lord, to know exactly what to do. Lord, how to prepare, what we should do and not do. Lord, you be our our God, Lord, in every situation regarding Israel, Lord. And Father, I pray over the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Lord, Lord, there's just so dis such discord there, discord there, so such unrest. Father, I pray for peace mm -hmm. over the Prime Minister. Peace, Lord, in the Knesset. Peace, Lord, between uh Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Lord, and the other Prime Minister, supposedly. Lord, let there be peace. Let them to know exactly what to do, Lord, to work out, Lord, all the situations, Lord, going forth, Lord, as to who is going to be the one in charge. Mm -hmm. Father, intervene in Israel. Lord, you be the Lord of all of Israel, Lord. And Father, as I have read recently about so many skirmishes, uh, so many killings, Lord, 
just one, two, three, four there. Lord, I pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to cover the IDF. God, let them to know what to do and how to do it, Lord. God, ordain their steps. Help them, Father, in every decision, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this land of Israel. God, that your hand of protection is upon them, Lord. And Lord, protect them, Lord, from the evil that might try to come from the borders. Lord, in Lebanon, Lord, there is such a poverty, Lord, in Lebanon because of that blast last summer. Lord, meet the needs, Lord, of all the missionaries there. Father, you know what they need. God, make a way where there seems no way for all of those missionaries in the land of Lebanon. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for this beautiful day, Lord, that we can worship you. We can call upon you. We can go to your house. Lord, that we can be your mouthpiece today, Lord. And we thank you for your presence. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Heavenly Father, we thank you for an open door. Amen. And if that door is not open yet, Lord, we thank you anyway. We're thanking you in advance for that open door. And Father, as, as uh, Francis said, you know, you can make a way when there seems to be no way. Yes. Father. Lord, I pray for our health. Uh, whether we've already had the virus, I pray, Father, that maybe we would have the exception, that we would be the exception to uh, go without a, a vaccine, if that's uh, the way things work. Uh, Father, we will, I'll just lift this up right now. Father, in April or before April, could you just prepare the way for us in some exempt way, in some way that there's a loophole or uh, something, anything? And if you don't want us to go, we understand that too. We've understood it this year. So Father, we pray right now that you would prepare the way ahead of us. Prepare the way ahead of us. Shem Yeshua in Jesus' name. Mm. 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 Father, we thank you. If no one else is going to pray, I'll close. Um, Father, we thank you that we can lean on you. You love us, mm -hmm. you know us, we know that you know us, you're intimately acquainted with us, and we thank you so much uh, that heaven is uh, assured for us. We just thank you so much, Father. Yes, Father. I just pray that you help us to just continue to just live with that joy, the mm -hmm. uh, encouragement. May we be encouraged by <clears throat> others. Father, um, Thank you again for this this work, this beautiful ministry. That it's it's a love love ministry. It's not a work ministry. It's a love ministry. Yes. And uh, we thank you that you put that seed within us, and you've also called us to be watchmen and watch women. And Father, we pray for the salvation of Israel, both for Jew and non-Jew, the the Muslim, the Gentiles who don't know you. Father, mm. um, equip us and. We trust that you are going to send us back there and just give us the patience to wait. And uh, that was a great prayer that uh, both Kent and Francis prayed, Lord, just pave the way, make the way. You're the way maker. You're the miracle worker. So mm -hmm. watch over everybody on this call and those who might be listening in uh, or listening in the future. Uh, watch over the families. Lord, keep us healthy. Thanks again. Give us wisdom, mostly going forth. We love you, Lord. And we pray this. I'll see everybody next year. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our wonderful Yeshua. Amen. 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 I know we'll see everybody next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will send this call out. They'll love you all. I just can't wait to see you. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Oh, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. And we miss you, Barry. You and Jeff need to come down some. I come up sometime. Yeah. We yes. Just or just you. That's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Love you all. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.